Oh, I am here, and I am here. Probably a bad time to be filming this because uh, it's late, and I'm getting into the tired zone, but I really want to open this up because this is my very first penny skateboard that I've ever owned, and I got it for $13, $13.94. Penny Australia 22-inch board since forever. It's legit. So I think this was $30 total on Amazon, but I had a $15 gift card or something. Or it was close to 30 bucks. So this is a 22 inch board. Film, post, tag us in your unboxing experience. Okay. I'll tag them at Penny Skateboards. You think I'll watch it? You guys watching right now? <laughs> it's crazy, man. This world is what it's come to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Started it off with Yahoo, Yahoo Games. That's where it all began. Well, I'm kind of jumping a bit because started kind of with Yahoo, <laughs> with AOL, <laughs> AOL chat, asking people what their age, sex, and location was. ASL, if you know what I mean. If you're down with the lingo, oh, this is cool. Here we go. Totally legit. Obviously, you have good taste. That's fun. There are a lot of posers out there. We aren't one of them, and neither are you. While imitation is the best form of flattery, we ensure you with this certificate that this is a trademarked penny skateboard. We believe there is no substitute for quality and style. Welcome to the penny experience. Thank you, penny skateboards. I'm really, I'm actually really excited to try this board out. Um, since I'm kind of a boardaholic lately. Look at this, it's even got a gift wrap on it. Let me show it from, look at that. Oh, thumbnail. Oh. Okay. Smells great. I went with the, uh, what kind of color did they call it? <laughs> I'm a first time penny buyer. Well, oh, it's got some heft to it. This is high vibe. High vibe. This is high vibe. This is high vibe. Check it out. What's this? Got a little warranty information. I don't think so. <laughs> Not in my house. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's it's twenty five ninety nine on their website. I don't know if it's. This is one thing that kind of confused me, and maybe somebody can enlighten me. Like, why are some of the boards only twenty five, but the same exact type of board is also fifty five ninety nine? Is there a difference in those, or is it just like they only offer certain colors for that price at a, any given time? And then they maybe they change it up. Um, I guess it could just be like different size. Like there's just one that's just a green board for seventy bucks. Is there something I'm missing here? I even like opened them up to see if like the specs were different. Yeah, I don't. I think everything's the same. Maybe it's just like if you really wanted a different color, they're like, oh well, sorry, you got to pay more for that. So I'm not sure. It looks like black. Blackout is their most popular. There you have it. I thought this was a fun color. Penny. Everything is reversed. Full metal. Even says penny on the wheels there. Yeah. What do you think? Do you guys like this color? I think it's kind of cool. I really like it. I like I like the bright the brightness of it. Maybe it's when I'm skating around, people will see me see it and be like, "Whoa, watch out for that guy." Um, definitely. Uh, 
I don't know, should I loosen the trucks first? They seem really tight. They seem tight. Everything is just seems really high quality. Penny. Got the little penny insignia over here. You see that? There, right there. Kind of hard to see in the camera. Then you got big old P back there that's engraved. Everything feels pretty cool. I stand on it. See how the trucks feel. Let's check it out. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna use this as a balance so I don't because these floors are really slippery. I know a lot of people are like, this thing is too small. Um, I can definitely see that, but I also kind of, I feel like these trucks are actually might be okay to try out first. And then I'll probably go from there. A lot of people are like, oh, you can bend them like crazy. Oop. <laughs> definitely want to keep be careful uh, since I am kind of used to them having more space. Better be careful where I'm keeping my feet not too far up where I'm pushing the board down there where it'll like pop pop up like like that or something. But I mean it feels fine. Ooh alright first scuffs on it. Oh yeah. So what do you think? Should I take it out right now? It's like 916 at night. I think I definitely will loosen the wheels though. They seem to like they need to be loosened a bit. But I, I, I really do want to try it out, ride it around. I think I will actually loosen the trucks just a notch. Just for the hell of it, see how it feels. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it, but man, getting the balance on it is very difficult. Ooh, we're gonna hill. Oh, kind of just curious how this terrain feels. Ooh. Oh. Got a Christmas tree up. Come on, people, what are you doing here? It's cool, I guess. Wow, so right back from getting the ride. I'm super hot. I want to turn my AC on, but I got to do this legit, like out of breath. Had a friggin' blast, dude. I had a ton of fun on this thing. 
And at first, and I obviously you'll see all the footage, but at first it was terrifying. It was really scary because it's so small and I weigh like over 200 pounds. So it's like, how do I get my balance on this thing? It was almost like going back to riding a popsicle board because I, I, I outfitted a, what is it? Is it 20, is it 32? I think it's 32 or 34 whatever I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about but, the, but <laughs> I'm getting delirious here um, I'm so sweaty outfitted a cruiser like a popsicle board with cruiser wheels I put um, wells in it um, and so I'm used to that because I have so much space on it um, but as soon as I get on this thing I didn't give up I didn't say like this is too scary for me I kept going even if it was like baby steps, I'd do a couple pushes, be on the board for like less than five seconds, and then pop off of it until I got just like familiar with like, okay, this is where my foot, back foot needs to go. This is where I want my front foot to feel the most comfortable. And it seems like I put like, this foot was kind of overhanging it. Well, this one, so they're kind of like, like that, or like that. So that way one's off. My front foot is off this side, and the heel is off on the front. Um, I'm sure it could probably go both ways, but that was what I was most comfortable with. And that way it gave me that leverage to kind of carve. And I probably did some of the best carving um, with this board. I don't know if I just like killed all the fear in my head to try it out because... Let me, let me correct myself, carving downhill. Um, Doing carving downhill was has always been very terrifying to me because I just haven't grown comfortable. And I don't know, something just like snapped. And I was like, I don't know if it, it must have been the adrenaline after getting used to the board. And I was just, I was carving, not like amazing. Like I'd carve maybe like once or twice and then I'd stop. Um, but that confidence like clicked in where I wasn't afraid. I just trusted the board and trusted my body on what to do. And if I needed to stop, I would bail. And I even went down uh, this hill here that has some bumps on it. It was so much fun. That was the first time I had the confidence to do that because, you know, you never want to go straight down. Snowboarding, you're carving. Skateboarding, you carve downhill. It's just typically what you do, right? Because you go too fast, you get the wobbles, you get kicked off, you go too fast, you can't stop <laughs> and you just shoot off and your body ends up being the break and the board is gone and you're losing flesh. Anyway, I did that. I did the carve. I was like back and forth, carving a little bit. I was like, I could see some people in the bar over there. I'm like, yeah, I see some people over there. I'm like, yeah, I didn't do that, but I'm, I'm sure they're seeing me and I'm like, this guy knows how to skate a petty board. Um, <laughs> at least that's what's going like that's me projecting onto them seeing me um, man I'm like rambling right now but first impressions like literally the first impressions um, scary at first but if you don't give in to the fear and keep practicing even if you're going like super baby steps just keep at it until you find the comfort of where um, you want to put your feet and I do find that like Putting, getting a little speed makes it a little more easier, if that makes sense. Because I feel like a lot of times I was going too slow and my body was just like, too slow. I don't, there's something about the equilibrium of speed going faster and like centrifugal force that makes your balance better. But when I'm going slower, um, and then I just started like, it, it just, like I said, it just like, it's like, a switch went off. Snap, <laughs> popple, crapple. Snap, popple, crapple. Really? I'm looking at there. I'm supposed to be looking at the lens. I'm not a pro, people. Um, but yeah, look at it. It's got its first dirt marks. At first, this thing was gliding, and I was just like, oh, this is going too fast. And then I was scared, like, is this going to properly go over to cracks and pebbles? It did. It avoided most of them. Um, I even went off over some rough roads, and it was a little scary, but. Um, it's manageable and then you know you gotta know when to stop because 
as soon as you hit like a piece of terrain or a road that doesn't just doesn't feel right, just kick the board back and pray it doesn't hit somebody behind you or a car or something. But yeah, just you gotta bail, save yourself. You know, the board is replaceable. Um, and I think this ride has been kind of like a little an enlightening moment of like. Because I think a lot of times I'll be like, get in my head of like, oh, I don't want people seeing me skating around because I'm a fool and I'm not that, I'm not good enough. And even as like a 40 year old man, so they say, um, you still have those kinds of um, thoughts. And especially with something new that you're trying. And to go out there, ride down that hill in front of a bunch of people, um, and even having to bail a couple times when I, while I was going down, I was just like, it created that amount of confidence in myself to like, not think about like what other people are thinking while well, this fool's riding around on this tiny little board that looks like it's for kids. But um, little do they know, <laughs> they've been around since forever. <laughs> so yeah, I um, I definitely recommend it. I mean. Depends on where you want to start, but I'm obviously not going to give up my other boards just for this, but the compactability, just being able to carry it like this, and just, you know, what's up? Want to hit the streets? Huh? Oh man, is it, this video has gone on long enough, I think, but great experience. It's actually really comfortable too. Like I didn't feel like my feet were bothering me during the ride. I do have skater converse on with um, inserts. Oh, they're that really well-known brand, but um, nice inserts in it. I felt like it was very comfortable. Had no issues there. Great turning ability. Um, I am wondering if maybe now, I, since I've got used to it, if I'll loosen the trucks a bit. I might because they aren't very loose right now at all. So might do it a couple more notches. You know, you gotta toy around with it, see what works for you, but this has been great. Um, I'll end it there. So peace be with you, my slime pajamas. And I'll do some more videos with this bad boy. Whew. Time to put on the AC, get some water, and play some video games, and then go to bed.